Hi, this is a video about how you can use Apple's Pages word processing program to create booklets for the Game Crafter board game printing service. It's basically a five-step process. First you're going to download the templates from Game Crafter so that you have the basis of what they need you to upload. You need to make the background image for your individual booklet. Then you go into Pages and create a custom page size to match the template that you downloaded. Then you make a document using your background image and put in all your game rules and everything. And then when you're done, you can export it to a PDF out of Pages, which you can then open in a lot of different word processors, or you can use Automator to create those into pings and create your the, the files that you need to upload to Game Crafter from there. So let's take a look at the process. So the first thing that you'll need to do is go to the Game Crafter website. So here's the file preparation section of the Game Crafter website and under templates you can see all the different uh, templates that you can download and what we're interested in today are the booklets. And there's several different kinds of booklets. Today we'll do the jumbo booklets and you can download templates in many different flavors. Today we'll just uh, use the pings so we'll download that linked file and stick it in a folder somewhere and then we can use that open it up in Photoshop or whatever editor you want and you'll see that it comes with some trim lines the, the red line is what where it will try to cut the, the booklet and the blue dotted line is where you need to keep all of the text that you're going to be displaying in because the paper can shift while it's being produced and as long as your text is inside the blue line you're guaranteed that it will not get cut off. In my experience Game Crafter is pretty good about hitting the, the, the red line for the cuts so you probably don't have to worry about that too much, but it's still a good idea to keep your content inside the, the blue line, if only for the visual design, let alone the, um, the safety of your content. So we've brought it into an image editing software here, and you know normally what you would do is you would create headers and footers to make it pretty. But for illustrative purposes today, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring this in standard, but just so we can see what it would look like, I'm going to create like some headers areas really quickly um, so that we can see kind of what it's going to look like. And I'm going to keep the opacity on these low enough so that we can see where those trim lines are. and then flatten that in there, and then we'll save it as a background. Okay, so now you have a pretty image that you want to use for the background of your booklet. So let's go over to Pages, and we need to create a new document. We'll choose a blank document. And what we need to do is we need to create a page that's the same size as the booklet. Now if you look on the Game Crafter website, you'll see that each um, booklet size, they'll tell you how big they need the images. They need to be 24 by 7, 2475 by 3075 pixels, but what we're interested in is how big the, the images are. 8.25 inches by 10.25 inches. That's the paper size that we need to define for our document. So let's go ahead and do that. 825, 1025. So we'll go into Page Setup, or you can get to that up here under um, Page Setup under File. And one of the things you'll see in here is the paper size. Now it defaults to US letter, which is what you would see if you printed it in a normal printer. Um, but you can come down here and manage custom sizes, and you can see I've been building other ones here for our own project. So let's manage custom sizes and hit this plus to create a new size. And I can double click on that and call it Game Crafter Jumbo 
booklet. Now the paper size, as we saw, is 8.25 by 10.25. Let's double check that real quick. 825, 1025, good. And what we want to do is we want to just go ahead and make all the, the non-printable areas zero. We'll be adding the margins and the printable areas later on. So this will give us the full size of the paper to print because GameCrafter is going to handle the non-printable area. They've already taken that into consideration for their t in, inside the template that they provided. So we don't need to worry about that while we're developing our project. So there's our jumbo booklet definition for the page. Now if you were doing one of the other booklets, you would follow the same procedure. You would just use the different measurements for the different booklets. And hit OK. And you'll see that it changes the, the size slightly. Let's go to 100%. Now this is the size of the paper that we'll be sending to GameCrafter. What I like to do is I like to go up to View, Show Layout. And this will actually show me where on the on the page I can actually print things. And what we want to do is we want to bring in the image that we made before and put it in the background and then adjust the, the area where we can type stuff so that it's within that blue line area. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to copy and just paste it into this document. Okay, there it is. Now it's the wrong size because it's trying to put it inside the flow of my document. So what I need to do is I need to go over here to the um, wrapping controls and say, okay, this is going in the background. And what that does is it keeps it from being constrained by the, um, the margins of the paper. And then we can go over to this ruler and set the size. Now, you might be tempted to hit original size here, but what that'll do is make it gigantic because the the image is actually 300 dpi but it comes in and thinks it's at 72 so what we really want to do is set the width to this same size that that they list on the game crafter website 825 by 1025 8.25 and it automatically fills in 10.25 because i have constrained proportions on and I want it to be in the upper left hand corner so I'm going to set the position to 0, 0. Alright, now as you can see there it is. It's all set up. It's in the background, it's the right size, it exactly matches the size of the paper that we're going to be uploading to the Game Crafter which is perfect. Now if we were to make a document and start typing in rules here that would that would work blah 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 but if I inserted a, a page break, it would come in and it would have a blank page. And what we want to do is we want to use this image on all the pages. So the way you do that is you, you make sure you have it selected, the image, by clicking on it. And go to Format, Advanced, Move Object to Section Master. And what that means is that becomes part of the master that Pages uses on every page. Now you can see that it's on both of the pages that I have defined. So now we have a nice word processing document where I can type in my rules and each page will have the same uh, background image that I created. But you'll notice that it's not really matching up with the borders that I wanted. So let's fix that. Let's go over here to the page setup. Now the page is the right size because we, we've done that already, but we have the default margins which are one inches around and using headers and footers. Now we probably do want to use headers and footers, but I'm going to turn them off for now just so you can see what's going on. In the layout view, this line shows me where I can type. What we want to do is move it closer to where the blue line is. So let's try 0 .4, 0 .4, 0 .3, 0 .3. That looks about right, yeah. So there it is going right up to that blue line, but for safety's sake, I'm going to bring it in a little bit. 
give it a little bit of breathing room even after they they cut the the paper so now we have a nice clean area where we can start typing and we could go ahead and add headers and footers in there if we wanted to like if we wanted large headers at the top of each page we could do that and set the top to like one inch so we could type into the header and then we could start typing there if this is going to be our header size we'd probably want it to match up something like that and so we could just start typing these are my rules and there you have it you would start making your document you'd make it as long as you want some multiple of four pages up to the the number that they can accept and you would have your rules document now how do I get it out of pages well it's pretty easy you just go up to file export PDF and what you want to do is you want to make sure you have the best quality image and hit next and then export to the PDF let's call it my rules PDF and it exports it and what you can see let's go over to my desktop tutorial my rules PDF and there it is there's a PDF containing the images that I was creating for my rules and if I were to open the that PDF in Photoshop say there it is 2475 by 3075 that's exactly what Game Crafter is asking for the pixel dimensions so I could set this to RGB color 300 dots per inch that's the right size I hit OK and it'll think for a little bit while it rasterizes the PDF file and I will be able to save these out as PNG files that Game Crafter will like to have. Now in another video I'll make I'll show you how to automate this process so that you don't have to bring it into Photoshop or something else but for now let's save as booklet page one dot ping and there it is booklet page one 2475 3075 with the right cropping area with your text in there with a custom background for your rules packet I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I hope it's useful for you if you have any comments or questions go ahead and leave them in the comments section of the YouTube video Thanks for watching.